<laughs> they call me an idiot for stocking up on all this 9 mil meat. Arr! My drill sergeant sets his tingling, but that can only mean one thing. The command sergeant major of the army posted a video going through the first hundred yards. The thing that replaced the shark attack in basic training. Oh no. Alex Jenny in a Mustang. November, the way God intended and your mother prefers. We're out here at Fort Benning. We're doing the first hundred yards. There's been a lot of questions on this is, is you know, we're getting kinder and gentler. The new reigning command sergeant major of the army. Sergeant Major of the Army Grinston got tired of the old school NCOs and those that are still in complaining about the first hundred yards and the removal of the shark attack, which I think is a valid bitch. So he decided to drop on by Fort Benning, Georgia and watch the first hundred yards take place with a bunch of brand new Army trainees. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this go as well as he hopes. Hey Drill, you better be careful. You're going after the Sergeant Major of the Army right now. And he's your face battle. I'm not criticizing the soldier. I'm criticizing the training. There's been a lot of questions on this is, is you know, we're getting kinder and gentler. Well, it doesn't feel like it. Oh, I bet it feels like it. Somebody's a little too shy to admit it. We're out here with the drill sergeant here, and he's going to explain this to us. So. Oh, please, battle. Please explain this to me. Here we go. So what just happened, they received their first mission. Uh, it's to build teamwork and trust. Uh, so they carried their MREs, their water cans, Skedco, um, and now they're coming down here. They had 30 seconds to memorize it. Uh, and they were supposed to put it back in that exact same configuration. What? They're running a mile and playing a memory game? This is what replaced the shark attack? It's basically a living version of the well, what's that stupid game where you had to put all the shit in the coordinating shapes and it would explode. Goes perfection. Perfection's the race to beat the clock if you're not quick. Goes perfection. Perfection. The opposite of this. They have failed to do that. Um, corrective training is going on. They get three attempts. Okay, oh, 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 corrective training, okay. Okay, okay, corrective training. Okay, let's see the corrective training. Now they're about to move into the, the phase three portion where they're gonna start conducting the ACFT events. How is this different from the shark attack? Oh, oh, did you hear that? How is this different from the shark attack? Did you hear that? The guy holding the camera goes, how is this different than the shark attack? How is this different from the shark attack? And if you're trying to get the drill sergeant there to explain how different it is than the shark attack, I think we can already see that. So, uh, what do you think? Do you think this is easier or harder than uh, what we used to do? Oh, what a loaded question, Sergeant Major! Come on, read the room! The highest enlisted man in the army is gonna ask Drill Sergeant fucking nobody whether or not his amazing brand new idea is good or not. And this guy's supposed to be honest. This guy down here on a live stream, okay, with basically his career in your fragile 100 meter yards whatever hands. It's gonna give you some legitimate criticism and say, well, you know what, Sergeant Major, this is really cool, but we can fucking do both. Couldn't we? Couldn't we fucking do both? Or, hey, this is good, but we need to fix some things here. I can't even read his name, but God bless this fucking drill sergeant for just biting his tongue. Although I kind of wish that he would have said how he actually felt. Because you can feel the awkwardness in his response. I think it's a lot harder, actually, Sergeant Major. Um... Subtitles underneath should be, God damn it, I don't want to get demoted. I would really hate to be stuck in Alaska or Korea for two years. Just because, I mean, I know when I came through, we got off the bus, held our bags for a little bit, uh, ran up a hill. These guys, they're running up a hill, then they're moving a mile uh, under load. And, and now, you can, as you can see, they're still getting that correct training um, and going through. But they are working as a team, which is something I don't feel like we did uh, when I first came in. Uh, we were just kind of worried about ourselves. Sorry, Major. No shit, you didn't do it when you first came in. You were getting shark attacked. Time and a place for learning teamwork and team building exercise. Day one is set the standard. Not team dodgeball. They, uh, they're going to work together as a squad. 
what this battalion is 354, so there will be 354 push ups for one of the events. So you're the 352, so make him do 352 push ups during a shark attack. Have him hold the bag up over his head for 352 fucking minutes. I don't give a shit. Why does this have to change? Why do we have to get rid of the shark attack still? You're still not feeling me in here. Uh, they have to complete that as a squad. If they do not, uh, the losers, they will have to uh, do corrective training. Um, the winners will not. So it uh, it pays to win. Winning matters in the army. So uh, that's that's what we want to do here. So, I mean, yeah, I definitely like the the whole winning matters. No, oh, yeah, yeah, but you like winning matters. Everybody loves that winning matters. But what is that fucking mean? How does second boxes compared to a shark attack? And once they get finished with the ACF, so they already ran under load. They got the task. They're gonna do these PT events, yes, and then where do they go from there? Uh, so from there, they will then move into uh, phase four, um, which will be on the back side, plus their CTA, where they'll do the demonstration portion. Um, this is kind of like the motivational uh, portion of it, Star Major. They'll get a demo of what they will look like after these 22 weeks, Star Major. I'm not opposed to that. That's a good thing. Show the privates what they're going to be should they succeed. Okay. It's a good thing. About how long does all this last? Like the whole. This, this is about two and a half hours, Star Major. So it's, it's pretty long and strenuous on these guys. <laughs> Two and a half hours of moving a couple boxes of MREs and PT. Okay, okay, you have my attention. Okay, so right off the bus, out of the cattle car, uh, two and a half hours. Or I think before it might have lasted maybe 30 minutes before they were up in their base. So. Okay, good job. <laughs> Did you just say? That shark attack only lasted half an hour. <laughs> Wrong! Day zero or pickup day, the little bus lift your bag over your head may last for just under a half an hour, which I think that is a line of shit. But the entire day is filled with shark attacks. Oh, go for lunch, fuck that up. Shark attack. Oh, you're marching, but you're fucking up your march. So we stop marching from child back to the barracks. Shark attack. I'm gonna show you your barracks, but you're not paying attention to shark attack. That shit's all day. Okay, good job. And hey, wait a second, I thought that the OCP mask wasn't authorized. Sergeant Major, oh, uh oh. Did they change it? Hmm, is somebody out of uniform? I sure would hate to be put on the spot to correct the most senior enlistment in the army. Like that NCO could have done. But you know, being put on the spot on a video that the rest of the world could see might just damage your career. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. It's only been three and a half minutes and the groups behind the Sergeant Major of the Army getting the first hundred yards have only been dropped like twice. That's it. Now, they went for a mile run. They did two different sets of like 20 push-ups and stacks of boxes. And now they're gonna go learn the Army Combat Physical Fitness Test movements. You gotta be shitting me. Where is the intensity? At this point, they will move to their ACFT portion uh, and that that's where they'll uh, get their task condition standards for each event. They're also, as you can see over in this corner, uh, our heat mitigation. Uh, this actually takes about um, 30 minutes of extra training uh, that we have to do during the during the cycle or during the day. So as you can see, they're already starting to do that. This takes uh, this gives us more time back in the end. However, I will say that those ice tanks are fantastic for training. Oh, you got a private that's about to overheat, or you want to do some hard ass shit and keep pushing them, duck those irons in there, prevent heat exhaustion. Outstanding training. <laughs> Privates just walking around here and not moving with a sense of urgency. What is the first hundred yards about? Is it is it is it walk the first hundred yards? Is it is it go at your own fucking pace for the first hundred yards? Everybody just standing there, nobody echoing the command. This this is the first hundred yards. They're still fucking walking. They're not even running in place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, privates. We've done this once or twice before in the army, right? Let's go. Get those knees up, get those knees up, get those knees up! Oh, but thank God they've got bullhorns! The bullhorns are gonna make it like the Navy SEALs, I forgot! Get your breath, Craig! Exercise! Water privates, stay close!
goes to that drill sergeant? Why are they walking up right behind that drill sergeant like they're fucking Charlie about to stab him in the back in the middle of the knob? Why? Why don't you swing over with an elbow behind your back, drill, and clear out that fucking area? Back blast area fucking clear! Ooh, the leg tuck and twist! Ooh, motivated, yes, okay, motivated once again, motivation. Oh, we're gonna pull a private out a formation to talk to the command sergeant major of the army so we can figure out whether or not it's good training. Okay, cool, kid. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do you have to say? Is it easy? What did you just say? Boom! From the mouths of babes! Well, you know, Sergeant Major, it just isn't that hard! It's not hard, I expect you to be hard. You want it to be hard? I expect you to be hard. Well, you know, Sergeant Major, it just isn't that hard! And you had to ask him three times! Motherfucker, you better rethink that fucking answer! You, you think it's hard? You think it needs to be harder? Yes, Sergeant Major, I think it needs to be harder. Yeah, I mean, you, do you, do you, we can make it harder! Yes, Sergeant Major, I mean, I can really make it harder on you right now, you motherfucking children! I mean, yes, it's, it's hard! It's hard, Sergeant Major! God bless that private because he is too stupid and or brilliant to lie right now and gave you the God's honest truth. This is fucking easy. He was expecting the fucking shark attack and you gave him Dora the Explorer. Let's go find some shit and put it together. Backpack, backpack, grab some shit, put it in the back and run a mile or two. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> Why is it that private standing in parade rest for the fucking command sergeant major of the army and his drill sergeant? I think a shark attack would have fixed the shit out of that. Oh, we're gonna go the first hundred yards, right? The command sergeant major of the army couldn't even correct a private to stand at the position of parade rest. He had to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun at summer camp. <laughs> you're a fucking formation private. Stop touching your battle buddy. This ain't no kumbaya where you can grab each other's hands and sing. But this never touching me. Ten nice straight forward and not moving. You understand? Yes, no sergeant. And they can't even sound off. Okay, so you're grabbing MRE boxes instead of your freaking sea bags and running around with them. So less weight. You're picking up less weight than your actual kit of shit and then running around with it like you would be doing in a shark attack, but it's less weight. That's exactly what everybody's bitching about. You made it easier. Holy shit, this is why you need a shark attack and PT should be taught separately. This guy ain't doing a fucking single one right. He's just humping the shit out of a poltergeist in front of him. Knees nowhere close to his elbows. So big of this drill, Sergeant. Ask privates who know nothing a question. Stop having them ask how they feel or what they think about it. Nobody gives a shit what you feel about, private. Nobody gives a flying fuck. When a private's run training now, it's good for them. We are the subject matter experts. They're the trainees. They soak up when we drop in their fucking mouths like baby birds. <laughs> now I talked to several soldiers, I won't say enlisted officer or what they did at Fort Benning, and they told me that you know what? We've been able to edit it and make it into something difficult. It does not replace the shark attack by any means. At least they're adapting to make this merry-go-round something a little bit better. Speaking of Marys, you're up. Bro, not cool. I totally look like Magnum P.I. with this mustache, man. No shave November, bro. Hey there, my future little brothers. I know that right now, your basic training experience is a little lame because there's cameras on you and like a big wig there that's kind of breathing down your drill sergeant's necks. But fear not, for once the doors close on your barracks, you will begin to feel the pain that slowly molds you from a weird weak civilian to a super sweet army cat. Righteous. But one thing's for sure, little bros, nobody likes mold around their balls. So make sure you pick up the perfect package from Manscaped today. <laughs> With the Lawnmower 3.0, you can trim your balls closer than your high and tight, little bro. But that's not all, little bro. You can take care of your ball sack with moisturizers and cleaners and ball toners. They've even got like a weed whacker for your nose hairs, guy. We both know you gotta try and keep those things in rags. So if you've got a little sailor, soldier, marine, airman, or coasty bruh that needs to get his pecker 
in Checker, get yourself a Manscaped Perfect Package and get 20% off with code ANGRYCOPS20 today. Huh. Righteous. Oh, I forgot they got boxers in a bag as a gift for free, dude. Sweet. Oh, God damn it! I love this kid. He expects it to be harder. I can't stop watching this kid. Look at the Sergeant Major time go. I expected it to be harder. Fucking A right. And so did everybody else. And that's what you're stealing from them. November. The way God intended. The way God intended. I need this mustache. He's about to go old school on the command center major of the army. Oh yeah.